Hello, we are talking to Basta Schaffer from England. Hello guys, thank you for taking time for a short interview. Hello, how are you doing, all right? I'm doing good, thank you. Hope you're right too. First question, Basta Schaffer is a very new band, you're playing since four years. When you started, what was your inspiration to make that kind of music? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of old reggae and then old English bands like The Clash, Madness, Rock and Roll. As well. Rock and roll. We were listening to everything, man. So uh, then we got together and started playing and it had a rock and roll scar thing. So just kept it as honest. But inspiration would be Jamaica, London and New Orleans for the rock and roll. But yeah, a bit of everything. All right, so now after playing four years, you're now the... Um Asshole question, but you are the new big kids in Scar Town. How does it feel? Oh, I didn't, I didn't know we are. But <laughs> Actually, in Germany, you are. <laughs> really? Okay, well, yeah, it feels pretty good in that case. <laughs> yeah, that's nice to know because, uh, you know, in Germany and mainland Europe, there's, there's good music scene still, it's strong, and it's good to be out here and to hear that. It's nice because uh, we love coming here and playing. You know. Great question, Josette. Do you think uh, Scar and uh, things like that are getting bigger at the moment? What do you think? I think so. Uh, certainly in Europe, there seems to be a bit of a revival. Yeah, for sure. And then in England, we've got the London International right. Scar Festival, and that's doing really well and uh, getting bigger all the time. Yeah. And what do you think it's because uh, the times uh, may be similar to the, the two-tone area? Or? Absolutely. Um, in England, it's hard times. Yeah. It's people haven't got a lot of money and they don't want to go and watch some poetry shit. If they're going to spend their money on tickets, they want to go out and dance and have a good time yeah, yeah. and, you know, get, spend their money and have fun. And that's, I think, a reflection of times being difficult. They're, they're choosing where which shows they go to. And, uh, also, there's a, a lot of very uninspiring music around at the moment. And the thing about ska music is a, a very universal thing Example. that people can dance to. <laughs> Example for the uninspired ones. Example. Uh, any, any mainstream, <laughs> yeah. anything, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, <laughs> The X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, all that shit that we have to watch on mainstream television. We're just sick of it. And I'm sure young people are sick of it. The old skinheads are sick of it. Everyone's sick of that rubbish. We just want some something with a bit of honesty I think of honesty and that's why Clash and Madness and Specials and the Selector and Beat they're all honest you know so hopefully that's what people are getting that's why about. they're all still going as well really. yeah they're all Other still than going. the Clash <laughs> yeah so as you just met um, continental Europe is so big is it um, you're touring in, in Britain as well as, as much as here or is it more in Europe because there's more Uh, just offers everyone in Europe at the moment has asked us to come out so that's the big thing. that's good it's good for us we're bored of England we've been there our whole yeah. lives so we don't need to do any more gigs in London it's you know? always raining people yeah. are miserable so yeah. no we love London that's our city we're very proud we still do a lot of shows in London sometimes you know sometimes lots of people hundreds of people sometimes it'll be a quiet one in a local pub we'll still go down and play to just like a few people in the pub so uh, but we go up Birmingham Manchester but at the moment mainly Germany and oh, all over Italy we've been with the Dropkick Murphys in Italy been going to um, where are we going next Every, everywhere <laughs> we've been to Denmark we've been to Holland we've been to Belgium, Switzerland well. later. Yeah, Belgium so it's good What, what, uh, what makes a gig special for you? Because you say, okay, there's a new town. And, but do, have you seen one of the towns or you just go to the gig and uh, go to I the I think it, it depends mostly on the, the crowd, really. Because uh, you can be in a, a spectacular town or whatever, but when you see a, a lot of young people really enjoying themselves and, you know, really sort of feeling that connection between, you know, you and the audience, that's, for me, what makes it really special. Especially in a new town. Yeah. Where yeah, we've been sure. doing, like, some smaller towns in Germany where we've never been, not even heard of, and the promoter will say, yeah, it's sold out, everyone's here, and we're like, oh, that's really nice to see. You, you get really kids that have travelled, you know, six hours on the train and, you know, yeah. they've walked four kilometres and stuff, yeah. and that, you know, that really means something to me. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of normal in Eastern Germany, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. We thought we were, we thought we were special. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, but, yeah, that is nice and just... Yeah. And when, you, when you compare, now we are here to the Scar Festival, when you compare a festival show to a club show, is there something different or...? Yeah, I mean, a festival, there's always a bit more, I think of a buzz more maybe anticipation because there's lots of music and everyone's drinking all day and so 
you know, it can be either a great thing or a difficult thing. <laughs> Depends how drunk the crowd are. And what do you think about uh, the schedule tonight, uh, playing after Lee Perry? Yeah, it's tough a one? Or? Tough yeah, one. Yeah, Definitely really a tough, tough one. one. I mean, he's a legend. He's got so many decades of experience on us, so oh, we're just going to have to pull out all the stops, yeah. I think, really, aren't we? So Let, let's hope everyone doesn't go home straight after. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't. So Mark Foggo played last night, didn't yeah. he, from, from midnight? And did people stick around, yeah? Did they uh, hang around for it? He played after Roy Ellis, so that was a tough one too. And yeah. Yeah, how did it go? Was it okay? Oh, it was really great. Yeah, and the crowd were mental. Yeah. Fingers crossed then. Because <laughs> really you are the big thing in That's good to hear. Get another question. Um, because uh, when I discovered Buster Shuffle, it was uh, on YouTube. Oh, cool. Yeah. And it was, uh, I think, two years ago or something, and uh, I played it on my show. Yeah. And uh, But the videos are very very good and they're always a little bit uh, f uh, fun yeah. inside yeah. and also you're telling a story yeah so uh, are you doing your, the videos by yourself or yeah well they're all Jeff Rowe's concepts really I mean you got quite a creative mind haven't you yeah a bit sad uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing better to do so than is that story with your girlfriend really your story oh <laughs> so many nights I've had in London where I'd be on the bus home on my own yeah all the time that's true, that is true. Yeah, yeah, the life is it's, it's a bit calmer now, but that used to happen. Yeah, just like, yeah, arguments, drinking too much. You love them, then you hate them, and then, then you kiss, you make up, and then they slap you, and you're like, what have I done? I think, yeah, that's singing about everyday things, things that we've all experienced. We've all had girlfriends that are angry. And, Especially because you say um, the, the everyday things, I was a bit reminded of the streets when they were yeah. like 10 years. Is it now 10 years? Or yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's probably around. Yeah. Also, even the video, kind of, I don't know if it was intended, but even the video reminded me. We of, like the streets, the, man, yeah. yeah streets because are cool. the streets are the first thing since madness. Oh no, you had madness doing everyday songs about my girl's mad at me yeah, and all yeah. that kind of stuff, <laughs> our house. And then there wasn't anything for a while that I'm aware of. Then Pulp, of Pulp blur. did it yeah. with and Blur as well. Common people like I met her in a supermarket, and that yeah. it's brilliant. What a line! I met her in a supermarket. It's <laughs> yeah. just like, and um, I think we definitely. And now you sell apples. And now we sell apples. <laughs> well, you know, we've got watches, we've got mobile phones, you know, Eggs. laptops, whatever you want. We can get it from the market. No. Um, the, yeah, the videos are. And also, when you're doing everything DIY, you know, that first album we recorded in our house, in a bedroom in Hackney in East London, we had no fucking budget for anything. So we could all just set up a camera and play our instruments like every other band video, or you think a bit differently and have a story. And But all of it, everyone is just one man and a camera, and that's it. And the editing, uh, but it's nothing, you know, and friends, getting friends down for the scenes and all of that. Fans, uh, I just love that one. Um, actually, the, the DIY thing with all the friends and the rehearsal with your band, which yeah. is quite big. So, yeah. how does that go? We just beg them to come down yeah. to the video. Yeah. So, <laughs> come on, we'll give you free book. No, they're all good. They turn up. <laughs> we, Some we need... people have had to persuade like that, though. Yeah, yeah. make a party and then we film it. So. You recently have a new lineup. Yeah. And, uh, maybe you can introduce them. Uh, yeah. Uh, they're not here right now, but I can, can okay. tell you something about So, it. last summer. We we're doing a few festivals, and a friend of the band, he's the organ player, Peter Oak, is there. He's kind of like a hairy mod, so he's not a, he's not a scar boy, but he he's thinks a, he's Paul Weller. Yeah, he's, he's Paul Weller. Yeah, he's he's the new Paul Weller, but um, not as good. Um, no, he, he, so we asked him to do one show in London for fun, and it went really well. And then the, we have two girls now. For, uh, in the band and that's really cool and they're friends just through London scene they used to come to some of our shows uh, and watch it and then they're singers and then we go okay and then we get together we did it for one show as just a bit of fun yeah. to have like extra musicians and then we thought this is cool man we'll like it so now we're seven we've gone from four to seven but uh, I think the sound's better and the new record has got a bit more production so it works with the organ and the vocals now so uh, it just means there's less space in our van. <laughs> and uh, because you mentioned uh, the new album, yeah. um, so you're playing all the songs from the old and the new one tonight. And uh, also, do you have uh, 
already uh, something new on your mind? There's a few things coming up here. Always, yeah. I mean, we, we write constantly when we're away. We've always got a guitar in the back of the van. You know, always sort of playing ideas and coming up with stuff. And uh, so hopefully we'll have something new in the back so. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully. We've just got to decide how we want to do it. If we want to go back to DIY or go in the studio again, I don't know. How does that step from DIY to getting more professional in the more professional sound feel, is it? Yeah, it's nice. I mean, it's nice in the studio because you have a lot more instruments. You have real, like, uh, Hammond organs and Wurlitzers and all that. So it's nice to be in a professional studio. Also, when you're recording in your house, you know, your flatmate can't come and fuck up a take by shutting the front door. You'll be singing and hear bang, or like a police car go, wee, wee. So all, <laughs> we're having to stop and start all the time in that first one because, you know, we're in a house. There was noise all the time, you know, someone turning the shower on and the boiler going and the, the, the guy, the engineer going, I can hear the boy, I can hear the microwave downstairs. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Someone's phone's up. I don't know. I like both. They're both fun, man. They're both yeah. fun.